Welcome to Boomhauer 69 channel and today Boomhauer is gonna be taste testing thing this right here Mountain House freeze dried chicken fried rice this chicken fried rice has has green peas onions carrots and mushrooms freeze dried that's what this is is a freeze dried meal for those who don't know what freeze-dried meal is, um, freeze-dried food is just simply food that they throw in a, like a big old drying machine and they dry out all the water and moisture content. I did a video about this before, what these are, these freeze-dried meals are made for, why they make them and all sorts of stuff. So check out those videos, I'll put links in the description for that video, video that talks more about these and what they're for and everything, but... That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to eat, taste test on camera here. The, this Mountain House chicken fried rice with green peas, onions, carrots, mushrooms, all freeze dried. Here's what the packaging looks like. Now I had the Mountain House breakfast skillet before with eggs and breakfast fish, um, type food items in it, the breakfast skillet, and, and I always liked that, I thought that was really good and tasty, but I never had their chicken fried rice, this is my first time having this, here's what it says on the packaging of how to cook it, there's the nutritious facts for those of you who care about that sort of thing, here's what it looks like in the front, and right there's the little tab to tear it open. Now with these, you simply boil up, on this one you boil up one and a half cups of water. So one you add one cup and a half cup of boiling water. Stir it carefully and close. Wait five minutes, stir again and reseal and let it stand for additional four to five minutes. It says four minutes here, but we'll do that. Five. So basically, so you, get, you add hot boiling water to it, stir it, wait five minutes, minutes, open this up again, stir it again, and boom, in ten minutes you got a meal. This is one of those Ziploc resealables. We'll, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside here. One thing you always want to do in these, they come with one of these little moisture exerment absorber thingies to absorb the moisture so if you want to simply remove that so you don't get sick but there's what it looks like on the inside there's what the chicken fried rice looks like on the inside there so yeah all you would do is simply throw your water in there and then you can either Shake this up to stir it. I've seen that done before, or you can just take a fork and whisk it up. So, let's simply go get some water from the stove and some hot boiling water from the stove and cook this up. Got right here the hot boiling water. As you can see, it's all nice and steamy. I got one and a half cups of hot boiling water, like it says to do. This is what you do. Pour it in here. Stir it. Get it all nice and stirred. Get up really good if you want to. And it's all nice and mixed up. Now, you simply wait five minutes and stir again. Once you have fully cooked it for the 10 minute time, there's what it should look like after the water has fully absorbed into the food and stuff. Because all you're doing on freeze dry food like this is you're boiling up some hot water pouring it in there stirring waiting five minutes with this one you wait five minutes 
you stir, first you boil up your water, dump it in here, stir it up really good, zip lock it back up like this, and then of course you stir it, zip lock it up, shake it up, or even open up, stir it up really good, mix your water up really nice and good, wait five minutes, Stir it a second time and then another four to five minutes and then you should have something like this and stuff. And that's all you're doing with, with mount, this uh, mountain house food. Every mountain house, every free stripe food is different on how much water to add. Some will have you add two cups. Some will even just have like one cup and one third cup or whatever. But, but yeah. Get a big old chunk of this here and see what it tastes like. It's got peas in it. I'm not a very big fan of green peas, but there's what everything looks like there. Don't worry, my table's clean. But there's what everything looks like after it's been fully cooked. Mm. That is actually good. Put some more. Kind of the carroty stuff here. Yeah. There's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that very good in this lighting, but. That is really good. Mm. Mm. Again, there's what it looks like in the packaging, fully cooked. But that is that that is good. I get that of. A full five stars, you know. I always, all the other mountain houses I tried before, like I had their chicken teriyaki, I think it was, and I definitely, the breakfast skillet is one of my favorites, because that's one of the first ones I ever had, a mountain house freeze dry food. But, it's really good, you know, in a survival emergency situation, if I was out camping, hiking with friends, friends or whatever, or, or just in general, hiking in the woods, I got lost, or, or an emergency situation, I had to eat this for, for a meal, to keep me going until I could sustain, sustain, sustain like a, a vegetable garden, or sustain some food and stuff, I could totally live off this for a while, but mm. yeah, it's just, this is good, I, I like it. I I'm gonna give it two thumbs up and and a full five stars. Um, you can get this get Mountain House on Amazon. I'll put an Amazon link in the description below, or you can go into Walmart in their camping section and Walmart sells it too. So I'll put both in the description, the Walmart links and also Amazon link. But yeah, I got this. At my um, local department store, that's a Walmart competitor in their camping section. Shouldn't I have? We have a department store in, in, in our area called Meyer, M E I J E R, which is a Walmart competitor. They also sell these mountain houses in their camping section. That's why I got this. But I've even bought them in Walmart and stuff, so you can get them. You can get them anywhere. There's a camping section like Cabela's, Lewis Bass Pro Shop. A lot of the big fancy sporting goods stores and stuff. Sell them, I think even Dick Sporting Goods money in some mountain house. But yeah. Again, these are just, these free stripe meals are designed for kind of more for like camping, hiking, when you don't want to bring a whole lot of ingredients and stuff with you to cook a full course meal. Or for that emergency situation where all you can do is just simply boil you up some water in a pot and that's all you can 
dude is keeping me warm, but yeah, I definitely like this. Yeah, yeah, mornings are good. Probably more like the chicken and stuff. I think that's the chunks of chicken. Yeah, that's definitely good. I'll finish that off camera. But yeah, again, I say full five stars, shoe thumbs up. That's really good. That chicken fried rice, Mountain House Adventure Mules. I really like them. I had them in the past before, and and I think they're they're one of the good ones. I know some free stride food food out there companies make free stride food can sometimes be a little air, yeah, you know. So so it's not for everyone. But again, these are just, a lot of times they market these for um emergency situations or camping hiking and stuff where I I always kind of view these more as a meal you would eat in an emergency situation where you got sustained food but I also think these types of little meals would be perfect to give out to the homeless you know so the, for the homeless to give them all a couple to throw in their backpacks and stuff where later on they can go back to the campsite and when they get get hungry and they and they need to eat something to settle their stomach because it's just driving them crazy to get something in the fuel. This would be perfect for them because it has a lot of flavoring in it and stuff where all they got to do is get some water, boil up two cups of water and and boom, they could they could have them a, a meal. This one, all you got to do is one and a half cup of water, so one full cup and then a half cup of water. And, and bring it to a hot boil, wait a few minutes, and boom, you got a meal and stuff. And so that would be perfect for homeless, especially if they just have only have access to, like, bottled water. Or they just happen to be living near a creek that is safe enough to scoop up the water and boil it to purify it and stuff. Or they have one of those nice straws filters. Because that's what I would do for, like, homeless people if I was going to be giving out stuff to the homeless. I would get them some of these and then one of those filtered life straws, like those Sawyer life straws right here. You, I'll put a picture right here of what I'm talking about. Sawyer life straws. Give them one of them and one of those filtered life straws and this. And then they could easily find a creek, filter the water through the life straw, and then boil that water up. You know, boil their little few cups of water up and then... Boom, they would have a meal to ready to be eaten and to sell in their stomach. And this would actually, since these have usually a lot of calories, because so they're meant to be that meal you eat maybe maybe one, one a day or so to help you get you through the day. It gives you enough calories to get you through the day and stuff and sell your stomach. It would be perfect for them until they can secure a another type of meal or stuff. So, yeah. If you like this sort of content, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below below your thoughts. Do you think this was a good video, bad video? Again, I I enjoy eating mountain house free trade foods. So if you thought it was a good video, bad video, whatever, comment your thoughts below. Are there other free trade foods out there you don't know about? Or other like camping food stuff you want me to try? Comment below your thoughts. Or you just simply want to say hi or whatever. Make sure to share this video with everyone you know if you truly liked it. To help get me Boomhauer69 out there. And help me reach other more people as well and stuff. Hope you all have a good day. And thank you for watching Boomhauer69's channel.